Welcome back to Modern Garage Barbecue. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Today we do some steakhouse kebabs on the Little Charo Grill. That's right, the Little Charo Grill. Not to be confused with the El Charo Rotisserie. I'm gonna show you how to make an awesome marinade. Then we're gonna cut up some steak tips, fire them in, let them soak up their goodness for four or five hours. We'll fire them on skewers, toss them on a grill, and cook them to perfection. You ready to do this? Let's go. Let's toss together our steakhouse marinade. I got a quarter cup of canola oil here. I'm gonna come back with about two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce here. Let's get it to me. Coming back with three tablespoons of tamari, which is a pretty much like a soy sauce. This one here hits a lot harder than soy sauce, more flavor, more unami flavor to me. You can use soy sauce if you want. Three tablespoons. Right about there. I'm gonna come back with uh, about a tablespoon of fresh lemon juice. That's looking good right there. Two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. Now we'll come back with one tablespoon of brown sugar half a tablespoon of black pepper, four garlic cloves I ran through the press, and also one tablespoon of Italian seasoning I make my own. This has got oregano, basil, marjoram, thyme, and rosemary in it. You can also use one from the store, use whatever you want. Get that all in there. Come back with a little whack of uh, crushed red pepper. That's about how much I'm using. That's optional. Just give it a mix. All right, we got our sirloin steak tips here. Got about two pounds. Cut to some nice chunks here. Just wanna get them pretty much even sized if you can. So we'll come back with our marinade here. I'm gonna save a little bit of this here so we can baste it during the cook here. Toss it off to the side and just give these a mix. We'll cover this up, toss it into the fridge. Probably for four hours, you can go overnight with it, which would be better. All right, let's toss the kebabs together, been about four hours or so. Meat all marinated, smelling awesome. I got some bamboo spew skewers here. I've been soaking in water for about six hours or so. I'm using bamboo here because I don't want, the metal will conduct heat through the meat. and It'll cook from the inside out also. I wanna to try to keep the inside nice and red. Let's load these up here. It's a nice piece of our steak tips right there. Come back, we're using some mushrooms here. Some baby portobellas. Right on there. Couple pieces of red onion. And we'll repeat it. Another piece of beef. A mushroom. and a red onion. We'll come back with another piece of beef. I'm gonna get the rest of these fired together. I'll meet you out at the grill. All right, we got the little charro fired up. We're on some regular Weber charcoal, a couple pieces of uh, lump sweater hanging on. Throw a couple of uh, wood chips on there, get us a little bit of smoke, throw some flavor in here. It's gonna come off to the sides here. Line them up. I did a few with just onions here. My wife doesn't eat mushrooms. I did a plain one here also. And we also got plain one here for the taste testers. Can't forget them. And I got one here with a little bit of uh, Suckle Boss's 1836. 
I got the coals banked mostly on this side here. It'll be a hot spot. We, and I shelved it down a little bit so it's cooler on this side here. So we'll just rotate them around. We'll keep an eye, we'll keep them spinning, we'll keep them moving, and we'll bring it back. Just gonna keep them moving here. See, it's starting to cook up a little bit there. Just flip them. Spit them, you're cooking them with direct heat. The little charro does come with these little grates here. It's an awesome little grill. Taste test the one there, getting pretty good. Getting good there. It's a real simple cook. Just grill them off, do it on any grill that you want. All right, we're starting to get there. We've been flipping these here right along. You can see they're looking pretty damn good. Give them all a flip here. We're gonna come back with our bit of marinade that we saved up there. Come right over with some marinade. Let's make the that extra little flavor layer. Get that going there. Hit them up on this side. We'll spin them again. We'll get the other side. Almost wrapping this cook up. We'll bring it back when we plate her up. We're back and we are plated up. Let's get you in for a close up. Oh man. These are smelling awesome. Get a little close up there. Man. Let's get in for a taste test here. A marinade there is awesome. It's a real simple one. You're picking up that soy, you're getting some of that brown sugar. This is a base marinade that I use all the time. I also change it up a little bit. I throw some honey in there sometimes. I'll chop up some jalapenos, throw it in there. Sometimes I'll whack it with a little bit of hot sauce. Very simple to add to it. You can change it to your flavors. Damn, let me get one more bite here. Huh. That is rocking. Definitely gonna try it. Thanks for watching, stay safe.